Welcome, let's make a video how to create an icon and this is the icon for the browser called Falcon. It's already installed, we can have a quick look what Falcon is. So this is a browser and you can go and check out what it really is and what it's all about. But it seems to be working just fine. We're working with DuckDuckGo. There's a plasma challenge stand, standing out here. So how to create an icon for that? So I first of all I installed it. It's coming from the Arch repo, so not AUR. And it provides PNGs. So there are no SVGs because that's what I need on the hard disk. Then I went and Googled and I found this. I found that there is on the wiki and well a look and an SVG because when I clicked on it it says here download SVG download this file so I've done that by the by maybe I can include this in the video so if you are missing an icon you can report it on github.com Eric Dubois Sardi issues so this is where I post my own issues the things that I find but if you have things that you say oh and it's missing this icon or that icon just put it in here new issue see how i report it it's inside your user share applications that you have this icon inside the file and that's the name i need and of course the application or url or anything to give me more and more information and make the proper icon so i downloaded something let's have a look oh yeah it is an svg so right mouse click open with inkscape to be sure because all these svgs need to be created inside inkscape Control z Control z Control z can i use for some reason parts of it i suppose i can so let's have a look i need to first ungroup it so when i move everything everything moves as a group so ungroup all right same again until it breaks ungroup ungroup and there you go now we have parts this part and so on so let's take the eye for instance I would like to cut out the eye from the white in the back but first I need to check is this still a group no it's no group anymore so I need to be really sure group if it says ungroup you know what to do you need to ungroup because we can't cut this out on the white thing if the white thing is a group so checking again yes I think that will work if we click on this one then on shift left shift then on the white then we can say something up here we have lots of things to do where is it again where am I looking at what am I looking at I want here there it is path you can make a union of these two guys you can make a difference of these two guys an intersection exclusion cut path and I think I'm gonna need a difference so I'm cutting it out from the white that's what I want to have okay this thing here is a gradient so there's a little part in there that's a gradient but because well the thing is I'm gonna make this right and here you saw the internet this icon I need to get at something white so I'm gonna delete these gradient things if I can well basically I just need to click up here and it's gone again now everything should be FFF so all white because we're making scripts to change these colors and if, if you don't do that it's gonna break so FFF it's white let's get this thing as well and go for all white so this is all white I need to see okay control Z so basically there are small parts in here that we can just delete I'm zooming in by the way so the mouse should have your mouse should have a scroll button and then zoom in 
and then delete also the yellow stuff. So this is much better. I see some shadow in here, something, something like that. Yeah, there is. So I'm gonna say no, keep white. Might be here as well. Yeah, I think so. It's white as well. So when I delete this thing, I won't see anything anymore. But I can learn you something new. Documents properties. <clears throat> and then choose the background. Check our background. Not really nice, but okay, it's doable, right? You see your thing again. Or you can choose also a color, which I normally do, something grayish or something. Okay. So now we can check it out again and see everything is okay. These guy does this guy. I thought I saw a line in here, but it's okay, I guess. No line in there. No surprises. What's this coming from? Control Z. I don't need this. Bye. My image is still okay. Control Z and Control Z. Can't ungroup anything. No. And no. So this guy is good to go. Group again. So I can make it bigger with my shift. No, not my shift, my control pressed in. If control is, if you keep it pressed in, you can just make it any size you want. All right. Okay, that's prepared. Now you go to the icons. And in the previous video, I made for flame shot. I didn't say that, of course, your icons will not be in your dot icons. That's because I'm the developer. Your icons will be in user share icons. So you need to find Savvy Flexible. You need to find scalable apps type dev. And he's trying to read everything. By the way, I'm working in Nemo. There's a reason for that. Search is just awesome. And not only that, you can see what you're looking at. All right, so that's not done, that's not possible in Tunar. So that's why I change file manager. So default, that's our little elephant. We need to take this one, open it up, double click, opens up Inkscape, otherwise open S. So this elephant can go. This guy, Control C, Control V goes in here. Keep Control pressed, make it bigger. Move it in its place, more or less in the center. Take a step back, click, center, yes, no, guess so. Don't save it yet, it's called default icon. It's not um, going to be that, called that. So let's see what it's called. Applications. Falcon, right mouse click, open, wrong idea, right mouse click, open with, and some of the editors, control find, icon, it's always called icon. Okay, so Falcon, it is very simple, very nice, that's the way it should be done, not a hard-coded path. Well, we're going to need it later, I suppose. File, save as Falcon Optimized SVG as safe. You probably won't have an optimized SVG, but if you give me new icons, if you develop icons for the SADI icons, I'll save them as optimized. So, Falcon SVG. Nice. But we should still make the shadow. So if we click here, let's select and transform objects or F1 and F2, actually rarely used F1 and F2, but here it is, it's possible. You click on the shadow and then you see all the nodes up here. You control A so that everything is red. You click twice on this button, click, click. Everything is now straight. I don't want bent lines. I want a straight line because the shadow is coming the sun is standing like say northwest something like that so the sun the shadow is coming um, like this then click first somewhere else because everything is red 
if you click on I on, on, on node then then everything changes you just want to have this one and move that one to here because the shadow or the Sun is standing up here so the shadow will go down there and you start deleting some points that you don't want that you don't need maybe you don't need this one maybe the Sun maybe that one can go too how about the Sun coming from here this one can go click on it delete it and this one is another one and another one so how about the Sun shadow starting from here we'll see later this one should be here maybe we should make a little line up here so the shadow starts there behind it behind it here we can say as well maybe that the shadow is coming from up there so if we do something like this then kind of looks normal right a little bit of shadow up there because of the fact that the Sun is standing there and then the big action here just drag the line down there you can drag the line also further away because it's it's behind this bar so behind this this ring so when you do page up and page down you're actually changing the depth the layers page up page down now I have moved the ring to the bottom which means that the shadow shows when I move it back up page up page up page up page up the shadow is behind this this object this ring so that's done let's take a look farther away, further away you need to have a parallel line here between here this line should go as well but it's small so we don't see it it's a little bit wrong but I think this one needs to go so this button up here needs to go a little bit down and if in trouble you can move this and you can move this over here but it should be more or less every icon should be not 100% but more or less pointing in the same direction I think that's not so bad so an icon like this can it please us Control shift s save optimized save okay replace so this is going to be the falcon icon let's make it maybe make this video a little bit longer in the sense that there's just one of the icons I need to make six of them but like I said if you want to develop and want to contribute great but you don't need to make the six uh, six of them you just need to deliver this one if you deliver this one to me and say Eric I've created a falcon for you um, great then I'll do the following things I've saved it in Savvy Flexible I'm gonna go to Savvy Mono scalable apps this is an app save okay then I'm gonna tell make sure this is on that blue one blue color click on the blue color that was too too much information here only the blue so the blue pops up I'm gonna slide this over here so everything is just just um, black desaturated we can go all black and I just choose a variant you see they're not always the same they are a little bit different and that's what makes it a little bit playful if it's all the same a number here RGBA then um, can't be look not that nice so control shift save this is one or the second icon right mono then the next one that's up is colors savvy scalable apps save this is a colorful theme I have still it open so control Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z we could go for this kind of color we could go for the purple we just created a purple for flame shot so maybe it's time for to create something else I don't know um, 
So it's up to the developer, in this case me, to decide what color will you take. And I always choose some kind of color that I say, okay, I like this color. Fine. Control Shift Save. Okay. Replace. So that's the Sardi icon. File Save S. Then the Sardi flat. That was a, another what if that I had years ago. Then I said, what if I start with Sardi and get rid of all the rings and the shadow? Then we get something flat. That was the, the trend of the flat icons, remember? Super Shift Save. People like sometimes a flat icon. All right. I need to do one more because I had another what if. What if I make a Sardi flat and give it a ring, but not a ring like the others, but a ring that's inside it. And that's the, the other one that's called Sardi Orb Colora. Okay. Last but not least, save as. So you see, the way I do it, what the major icon themes are. Sardi Color, Sardi Flat, Sardi Flexible, Sardi Ghost Flexible, which I'll do now, and Sardi Mono. And that's the major elements of our system. Okay, well, Sardi Orb Colora as well. It's a variant of the flat. So, like I said, the last one, Sardi Ghost Flexible, this is all white, all these applications are just white, 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 which is awesome if you have a dark theme. Save. Okay, so the only neat thing that needs to go is the orange. Then we still have this thing. Believe me, it's there. Put it in the middle, control, press in, and shift. Control shift in this case. And you see we're right in the middle. And then we go down and say, okay, I always make it rather big. And then Control Shift Save. Okay, replace. So that's what I do afterwards that you give me a SVG. Close without saving. Still not finished. We have, uh, you need to have Nemo. Nemo is interesting. Why? If you go to the icons, you can have a go and look at our icon here. Like so. And you can zoom in and you can see, okay, so we created this, but this guy and that guy is still the same. We have six variants of the same icon, but there's a little script that I run then that says, Make, 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 make what? Sardi or Colora. Then it asks me, hey, give me the name, token, and then we check again. And Falcon is a little bit different now. This guy needs to be checked again because sometimes we need to address this. So Control Shift and then the mouse so that it's not something like this. So that's really nice in the center. Control Shift, save. And there we go, last save. And there's still one thing to do I saw. I should not forget, close without saving, I should not forget my surfing icons. So whenever I develop my Sadi icons, I always take a look at the surfing as well. If it does not exist, file, save as. Icons Surfum is here too, and it's going to be saved in the apps in the scalable as well. Okay, okay, close. And if we search again, we should have a little bit more. Here's the Surfum one guy, and we have six variants of the Sardi and one of the Surfum, seven in all, which makes a nice icon set. So that's how we do it, that's how we create Sardi, and if you would like to contribute, you're welcome.